It's the absolute dead of winter right now, but it's never too early to start talking about spring pike fishing. Over the years, we've found a number of lures that have guaranteed us success when we go out on the water targeting northern pike. Lures that'll help put more fish in your boat in 2024. Before I show you any of those lures though, I wanna make something crystal clear. Anthony's Outdoors is not sponsored by any of the companies of the lures that I'm about to show you. However, I do have an Amazon affiliate program and a link in the description to all the different lures that you see in this video. So if there's something that you think you might like, click on that link and you will help support the channel. Okay, first up, our tried and true MEPS number five. This lure is our absolute favorite blade bait. They come in a multitude of color combinations, they fish real easily, are fairly inexpensive, and flat out catch fish. Now during our Pikeathon trips, we use the MEPS number no. 5 as our lure to set the pattern. Because it's so versatile, we can figure out whether the pike want a fast, slow, steady, or an erratic retrieve, as well as the color combination that is preferred that day due to the local weather and water conditions. On sunny days, we like natural colors, and on cloudy days, we prefer the fluorescence. The MEPS Piker Kit is a good way to get started if you are unsure of what color combos to get. If power fishing with blade baits isn't your thing, or the fish simply aren't in the speed demon mode, then we really like swim baits and jerk baits. Like this soft bodied swim bait right here. This is a Berkeley 5 inch flat back shad. We also like Kitek brand swim baits as well. We found that lure color isn't as important with these soft body swim baits and opt for the natural colors more often than not. The next two lures have quickly become some of my personal favorites for getting fish to bite in a negative attitude or cold front conditions. The Rapala Ripstop and the Rapala X Wrap. They look similar but have slightly different swimming characteristics that make them deadly in their own unique way. The Ripstop, as the name implies, gets ripped and then it dead stops in the water hanging there in a neutral buoyancy. That pause drives fish of all species crazy. We've caught pike, walleye, perch, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, all on the ripstop. The Rapala X Wrap, similar to the ripstop, is a jerkbait, but unlike the ripstop, it has a slight glide to the left or right. This slight gliding action really drives the pike crazy and it's proven to catch smallmouth bass and even early season muskies. On stained water, we prefer the fluorescent colors, while on the clearer water lakes, we will opt for the natural colored ones. Finally, if you want a super easy to cast, easy to fish bait when the pike are super active, you've got to have a bunch of cyclops spoons in your tackle box. They have an incredibly erratic action simply by just reeling them in. In recent years, we've caught a lot more fish on the Cyclops than the traditional Daredevil spoons. Now, if you're fishing deeper water and structure, that's where we would switch over to the Daredevil, as they come in heavier sizes, sink faster, and run deeper than the Cyclops. One big equipment change we have made over the last few years is in our reel selection. In the past, we've recommended a certain brand, but seeing as their prices have gotten out of control and their quality has diminished, we've made the switch over to the Daiwa Tatula Baitcaster. The 200 series, sized with 30 pound test, is a perfect combination for targeting northern pike. We've used these reels now going on three years without a single hiccup, and we highly recommend them. If you found any of that information useful, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Also comment down below on lures that you like to use for catching northern pike. Also, check out the videos here and here, as those are our Pikeathon videos, our annual trips where we go out and absolutely crush them. All the lures that you saw in this video, we use on those trips, and you'll be able to see them in action. Again, I want to wish everybody a happy new year and happy fish hunting. And as always, thanks for watching.